Hey guys, welcome to Inferno Arts. Today I'll be teaching you some of the most useful hotkeys that every beginner Blender user should know. So the first hotkey I'll be teaching you is A. That selects everything in your scene. Double clicking A deselects everything in the scene. The next hotkey is Tab, which goes into edit mode for any object you select. And this is where you'll be doing most of your editing. So select your object, press Tab, and now you're in edit mode. The third hotkey is Shift A. Now this can be done inside or outside of edit mode. Shift A adds objects to your scene, whether it be mesh, curves, empties, images, lights, cameras, whatever you need. So let's say we want to add a plane. Go to mesh, select plane. Now it's created a plane inside of the box. And that brings us to our next hotkey, S, for scaling. So press S and you can drag your mouse to wherever you need scale up your object. Another very useful key is G, and that is the move tool, which allows you to move any object in your scene. So here I've selected the cube, so pressing the G key moves it on all three axes. Now pressing any three of the axes will constrain it to that specific axis. So for instance, if I wanted to move this about the Z axis, I press Z and it would only move up and down. And that goes for both Y and X. Another useful tip is holding shift when you select each one of the axes and that will move it along every axis but the one you selected. So let's say I wanted to move the cube in any direction except up and down which is the Z axis. So I'd press G, shift, Z. So now it only moves about the X and Y axes. And this also works for X and Y as well. Shift, X, now it can move only Z and Y, and Shift Y, only X and Z. The next hotkey is R for rotate. Once you have your object selected, you press R, your object rotates about the camera until you select any one of the axes and it will constrain it to that specific axis. Like if I wanted to rotate it about the X axis, I just press X. So now it only rotates around the x-axis. The next hotkey is X. So let's say you don't want this plane here. You can press X and delete it. This works for any object. X, delete. Another common hotkey is Z, which you can press and select your option. Or you can hold it, drag your mouse to whatever option, and let go of Z. So in this menu, we have four options. Rendered, Solid, Material Preview, and Wireframe. In Wireframe, any object in your scene will turn into the wireframe form, which is pretty self-explanatory. Now going back to solid view, you can see that this object is gray. However, this does have a material assigned to it, which you can only see in the rendered or material preview. So the material preview option shows a basic render of what your object will look like. And this is most similar to the EV render engine, which we'll talk about later. You can also go to rendered view, which will show a more accurate representation of what your scene will look like. So what the rendered view is showing right now is one of the two render engines in Blender, Eevee. This option is most similar to what you see in Material Preview, but the more realistic option would be Cycles, which you can select right here. Now right now it might not look too different, but that's just because there's not too much going on. So the next hotkeys are exclusive to edit mode, so you have to tab into edit mode before you do these. There are three different ways to select your mesh, either vertices, edges, or faces. Now what I use for these are the number keys 1, 2, and 3. You can also select them up here. 1 for vertices select, 2 for edge select, and 3 for face select. So the first hotkey in edit mode is I for inset. You can select a face, press I, and it will inset that face. And as a bonus you can hold control which moves the face in or out depending on what axis the face is sitting on. So this moves along the Y axis but it doesn't only constrain to the X, Y, and Z axis. It'll move on the axis that the face is on. So for instance, if I were to click this one, press I to inset and hold control, it goes along that specific angle. The next hotkey is very similar to inset and holding control. It's E for extrude. Pressing E will extrude whatever face you selected. This also works with both edge and vertices select. So pressing one, go to vertices select, Click the vertice, press E, and it'll extrude that vertice. Press 2, go to Edge, E, and it will extrude that edge as well. 
So all the hotkeys can be used together. So pressing 3 to go to face select, you can E to extrude, I inset, control, bring it out, press S to scale, R to rotate, Y to rotate on the Y axis, and A to select everything, and double A to deselect everything. Now let's exit edit mode. Now let's say you're happy with what you've created here, and you want to see what the final result will be. Now you can press F12, and it will render out an image of what your camera sees right here. Now to see what your camera sees, press 0 on the numpad, and it will snap to the camera's view. So I see I want to move this with G more into the camera view and press S to scale it down a little bit. And all these hotkeys can be applied anywhere, even to this camera. So you can select the camera, even from inside the camera view, press G and move it around. You can also R and rotate it. So speaking of the camera, it will only render out what you've selected as the render engine. So what I've selected right now is Eevee. You can also select Cycles. So I'll press F12 and render out the image. If you enjoyed the video, please leave a like, consider subscribing, and I'll see you in the next video.